The majority of Deuteronomy chapter 16 deals with the three feasts that all Jewish males must attend, the Feast of Passover, the Feast of Weeks, and the Feast of Tabernacles. Each of these feasts are summarized as to how they should be done, when in the year they should be celebrated, and who is allowed to celebrate them. Our short time together, unfortunately, doesn't allow us to fully explore all the finer details of these feasts, but we do know that the benefit of these feasts to the Jews, besides celebration and God's further blessings, was for the Jews' personal remembrance of God's goodness and faithfulness. God, being all-knowing and perfectly wise, knew that His chosen people would be confronted and tempted by the numerous idols their enemies worshipped in the land of Canaan as they made their way to the Promised Land. I mean, let alone their faith being tested by the fierceness of their enemies. According to Deuteronomy chapter 16, verses 3 and 12, God made it a law to celebrate the feasts so that the Jews will always remember that it wasn't by the works of idols or their hands that delivered them from the might of Egypt, but that it was by the Lord's goodness and faithfulness that they were brought out from captivity into liberty. It is assumed that for the Jews, it was a requirement that these feasts be held regardless of their personal or national circumstance. In other words, in good times or bad, they were to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Let it be true of us as well, that even through the good or through uncertain times, that we remember God's faithfulness. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 says that He will never leave us nor forsake us. So. Even in trying times, let us therefore rejoice and count on God's goodness and faithfulness today.